So you're looking to buy a new GPU, but you're not quite sure which one to go with. Well, this video is for you. I'm gonna run you through different options for each sort of price range to give you an idea of where you should be looking. But first, a message from this video sponsor, NordVPN. Get their award-winning service that lets you browse securely across the web with over 5,000 servers you can connect to, six simultaneous connections, and a wide range of VPN protocols you can use, including OpenVPN, PPTP, L2TP, IKEV2, which is just a great mouthful, and even a VPN kill switch so you don't accidentally leak any sensitive data. Check them out at nordvpn.org slash techteamgb and go sign up today. So jumping right in with the £100, $100 mark, give or take a little bit, as that's kind of the minimum I would recommend going when buying a new GPU, as the cards that are sold for less than that new tend to be, well, awful. You can go for the used market and I did a full video that you can check out in the cards up above if you want to get an understanding of where you should be looking in the used market but we're going to focus on buying new for this video and the single best value for money card you can buy right now is the RX 570. This is hands down an incredible card especially for mid to high settings 1080p gameplay. It's certainly an older card but it stands for an incredible amount of value and I highly, highly recommend you check them out if you're in this sort of price range. Now, it does come in two variants, the 4GB of VRAM and the 8GB of VRAM models, and while they perform pretty similarly, unless you're planning on gaming at 1440p or higher, which honestly the card isn't really geared for, the 4GB model should be plenty for this kind of caliber of card, and I'd save yourself a little bit of money and go with that instead. Next on the list is the sub £200 dollar category, and again, my recommendation recommendation goes to AMD. Their RX 580 again represents an incredible value for money that you just can't really beat right now. It is still an older card but it costs anywhere between $150 and $180 or pounds and so that is an insane value for money. I'm also going to mention that all of the cards I'm talking about or mentioning in the video will be linked in the description down below so you can check them out and see pricing when and where you watch this. Now with that said, if you have a little bit more than $200, say 200 to 220 to spend, then a GTX 1660 Super might be a good option for you. It's a little bit faster than the RX 580 and costs a little bit more money, but of course if you want that extra performance that is still a very good option. Raising the budget a little more to around 300 pounds or dollars gets you a lot of graphics card for your money. We're into the territory where you can run pretty much any game you like on ultra settings at 1080p and even still get well over the sort of 60 FPS limit and often upwards of 100 to 144 which is great for those high refresh rate monitors. With that said, on the Nvidia side of things, you can go with a GTX 1660 Ti, which gives a pretty decent value for money, of course has the NVENC encoder as well if you want to stream using your graphics card, or if you want to go with Team Red and AMD side of things, there's actually a couple of interesting options. They have their new RX 5600 XT, which is an incredible value for money, generally speaking, and performs a little bit better than the 1660 Ti for ever so slightly more money. You can also go with the effectively bigger brother card, the RX 5700, which has come down a lot in price since it launched, and it's actually the same GPU core as the 5600 XT, but comes with a little bit of extra VRAM and slightly higher factory sort of boost clocks, if you like, and so performs a little bit better for actually very, very similar money. Now, if you have even more money to spend, you can go with a card that's closer to 350 to 400 pounds of dollars, including the the RTX 2060, which is the first card on this list to have hardware ray tracing support, if you care for that. You can also go Team Red as well, which actually seems like an amazing value for money right now, as the price of the RX 5700 XT has seemed to have dropped pretty dramatically. That card punches well above its price class, aiming squarely at the RTX 2070, while perform or costing around about the same as a 2060 or 2060 Super, and so that's an incredible value of money, and right now, I can't recommend that enough. Now, if you want any more performance than the 5700 XT offers, which I should add is great for 1080p ultra high refresh rates, or even 1440p high refresh rates, you're looking at going with an RTX 2070 Super, which 
which is actually a pretty big price gap. Those generally start at around £500 a dollar, which gives a pretty significant gap in the market there, and sadly AMD doesn't have anything to fill that, or even get close to the 2070 in terms of its pricing. It's actually the same story going up the stack too, so if you want even more performance and want to start gaming at 4K, then a 2080 will cost you anywhere between six and seven hundred pounds or dollars. And if you want you know proper 4K gameplay, then you're looking at a 2080 Ti, which is upwards of uh, thirteen hundred pounds and dollars. So. Yeah, pretty, pretty crazy. So I think that rounds out the list of graphics cards I would recommend at the different price points, but I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. What graphics cards would you recommend, if any different than mine? And did I, you know, recommend something you directly wouldn't? Let me know in those comments. Also, like I said, if you want to check out any of the graphics cards I mentioned, they're all linked in the description down below. Those are Amazon affiliate links that will take you to your local Amazon store where you can see pricing when and when you watch this. There's also a load of other links in the description, including to NordVPN and their password manager, and thank you to those guys for sponsoring this video. And you can also check out a load of other links too, like Amazon and Overclock UK affiliate links that don't cost you anything to use, but massively help me out when you do use them. Or a load of other stuff too, like merch for hoodies or t-shirts like this one, Patreon if you want to get cool awards and support me directly, and get ad-free videos I should mention, and a load of other stuff too. Like I said, you can also check out the cards up above for the videos, including the used, buy, like should you buy a used graphics card, and also the 5600 XT versus the 2060 and the 1660 Ti. And you can also check out some more videos over there too. Otherwise, that is pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in the next video.